This is a mandrel. It's used instead of tubing while it's being bent to help hold the tubing open, keeping you with exquisite bend quality. This is 2 inch 065 steel. What if you could bypass the mandrel attachment and just use the less expensive tubing bender to mandrel bend with something reusable, in this case, wood's metal. This is a eutectic low melt alloy that you can melt into tubing, and they say that it allows you to mandrel bend without buying high-priced mandrels or a mandrel attachment. We try it right here, right now. Wood's metal melts at 158 degrees, so it can be melted in a pot on top of boiling water, which is nice and safe. What we need to do is plug the tubing so that the metal has a place to stop, doesn't just run out the bottom. This is welding wire and a rag. No need to do it, super fancy. Now we've got a plug in our tubing. We can dump the metal in. Cold water can really speed up the solidification process, so we have this in a cold bucket of water, and now it is ready to be bent. You can use any tubing bender for this. Of course, we're using ours. Well, that cracking sound was the internal support alloy fracturing from being too cold. So we're gonna melt this out in boiling water, put it back in another piece of straight tubing and try it again without letting it cool off as much first. Well, the second bend had the same problem, but different. Uh, more little fractures, but it, it is better overall. So we're gonna try it one more time with the alloy even warmer while we bend. So the third bend just came out of the machine. You didn't hear any snap, crackle, pop, so there isn't those little striations on the outside, but it was not solidified enough to support the tubing all the way. So likely between this one that was done pretty hot, not all the way solidified, and the one that was cracking, we would find success. Those bends were done on a four inch radius. We've also bent with our real mandrel, that guy back there, a three inch radius, same material, from the same exact stick even. And we were able to tune these wrinkles out. Uh, it was for a customer, so we sent a successful piece to that customer. But um, copper is pretty difficult to bend. It's super soft and loves to wrinkle. And now is the time for me to tell you to be selfish and invest in your future success. Subscribe to this channel. Enable notifications, which is checking the little bell. That way you can get told by YouTube when we come out with more videos. We are going to continue to solve problems that you have in tube bending, help you fabricate easier, make less scrap, and just in general have a better time bending tube. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.